happen that special against the show stand The battle belongs to the Lord We say glory, honor, power and strength to the Lord We say glory, honor, power and strength to the Lord The power of darkness comes in like a flood The battle belongs to the Lord His raised up a standard, the power of His blood The battle belongs to the Lord We sing glory, honor, power and strength to the Lord We sing to the Lord When the enemy presses in heart do not fear the battle belongs to the Lord take courage my friend your redemption is near the battle belongs to the Lord Please turn your Bible to 2 John chapter 1 verse 7. 2 John chapter 1 verse 7. Before we read the scripture, uh, let's pray. Father, we ask your Holy Spirit, Lord, to lead us, O God, and teach us that the Lord Jesus Christ is God manifested in human flesh. In his name, we always pray. Amen. Second John chapter 1 verse 7 says, For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Sa wikang Tagalog, sapagkat maraming magdaraya na nangagsilitaw sa sanlibutan sa makatwid ay ang mga hindi na nga, nagagpapahayag na si Heso Kristo ay napariritong nasalaman ito ang magdaraya at ang antikristo the title of our study is people that believe Jesus is only a man and not God or Antichrist. I repeat again, the people that believe Jesus is only a man and not God are Antichrist. So there are three points that we're going to discuss. Number one, people that believe Jesus is only a man had denied the true nature of Jesus as God manifested in human flesh. Number two, people that believe Jesus is only a man had denied the unity of Jesus and God the Father. And number three, people that believe Jesus is only a man had denied the truth that they might be saved. So the word Antichrist is mentioned three times in the epistles of John. The Bible continually warns us against false teachers, false uh, 
pastors or false ministers. First John 4.3 says, And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist whereof you have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. So there are people who only believe that Jesus is just a man. Now the spirit of Antichrist has always been in the world. It has manifested itself both in open opposition to Christ and in subtle attempts to against Christ. So let's talk point number one. Point number one says people that believe Jesus is only man had denied the true nature of Jesus as God manifested in human flesh. First John 2 18 says, Little children, it is the last time, and as you have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time. The Apostle John warned his spiritual uh, children against spiritual dangers. The danger was real and is still a danger to believers young and old today. He warned them against the emergence of the Antichrist. St. John warned about Antichrist during his time. And those same Antichrists continued their devil assigned mission to oppose Christ and his purposes today. Any teaching that does not keep the Lord Jesus Christ as God manifested in human flesh bears the spirit of the Antichrist. Number two, people that believe Jesus is only a man and deny the unity of Jesus and God the Father as one. 1 John chapter 2 verse 22 says, Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ, he is Antichrist, that denieth the Father and the Son. Satan, the devil, is a liar, and his effectiveness depends on religious people embracing his lies as truth. These religious people are Antichrist and believe that Jesus is a man and not God in human flesh. A group of devil deceived people that believe Jesus is just a man and not God Almighty manifested in human flesh are Antichrist or against Christ. Number three, point number three, people that believe Jesus is only a man had denied the truth that they might be saved. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 10 to 11 talks about the son of perdition, the man of sin. And this is verse 10 to 11 says, And with all, with all this bubbleness of righteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. This religious group of people believe a lie coming from Satan. Second John 1 7, our text says, For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver, an antichrist. The only protection from false teaching is hearing and embracing truth. The scripture continually encourages us to pursue and embrace the truth. The truth is that the Lord Jesus Christ is the God Almighty, according to Revelation chapter 1 verse 8. Now, the following verses which says that the Lord Jesus Christ is God is 
Number one is Romans 9.5. Number two is Philippians chapter 2, 5 to 6. Number three, 1 John 5.20. Number four, Titus 2.13. And number five, 1 Timothy 3.16. Now, where can you find in the Bible which says that Christ indeed uh, said that He is God? In Matthew chapter 4, you will find in verse 7, when He was tempted by Satan, Jesus said unto him, It is again, it is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. God the Father is not tem tempted. God the Holy Ghost is not tempted. But it was God the Son. So Matthew chapter 4, 7 is a very clear verse that Jesus said that he is the Lord by God. I repeat, Matthew 4, 7 says, Jesus said unto Satan, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. So, in the book of Revelation, you will find in chapter 1, verse 1, that it is the revelation of Jesus Christ. In Revelation chapter 1, verse 2, the testimony of Jesus Christ. And in verse 8, this is what the Lord said, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, said the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. So Jesus Christ, or Yeshua HaMasiah, is God Almighty. Now, the supporting verse here says in Revelation 1, 17 to 18, And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Please take note the word, I am he that liveth, and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. So the one who was dead here was the Lord Jesus Christ, and he is alive forevermore. Therefore, Jesus is God. Now, this is what the Lord told the religious people during his time who committed the sin of unbelief which is the sin, the unfor unpardonable sin, because all sins are forgivable. This unpardon unpardonable sin is summarized in John 8, verse 23 to 24. This is what the Lord said. And he said unto them, You are from beneath, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you that you shall die in your sins, for if you believe not that I am he, you shall die in your sins. Ikaw mamatay po ng tao na hindi naniniwala na si Iso Kristo ay Diyos na makapangyarihan na nagkatawang tao. Maliwanag po ang John 8.23 na sabi ng Panginoon, Ako'y taga itaas, kayo'y taga mundo. Ako'y hindi taga mundo. At pag hindi kayo maniwala sa akin, ang inyong kasalanan ay ikaw mamatay niyo. So, ano po ang solusyon sa mga tao na hindi naniniwala na si Jesus Christo ay Diyos na nagkatawang tao? Lumabas ka, sabi ng Bible. Revelation 18 verse 4 says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues. So, in summary of our study, People that believe Jesus is only a man had denied the true nature of Jesus as God 
manifested in human flesh. Number two, people that believe Jesus is only a man and deny the unity of Jesus and God the Father as one. And people that believe Jesus is only a man and deny the truth that they might be saying. So, our text says in 2 John 1, 7, For many deceivers are entered into the world, who confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and antichrist. Let's pray, Father. Bless those people who believe that Jesus is just a man. And they are antichrist. They are against Christ. And most of them, especially, Lord, their leaders, the ministers who preach about God, about you, Lord, and about Jesus, but at the end, always, of their teaching, they will be against Christ. And they are anti-Christ. And only you, Lord, can set them free. And they will believe the truth that your Son is indeed God manifested in the flesh. This is my prayer in the name of our Savior and our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Shalom.
that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. That exalts itself against the knowledge of God.